Okay, this is a quick video to show you two other ways of uh, moving objects in Scratch. In the last video, I showed you how to use the arrow keys. You could have changed those keys to anything on the keyboard. Uh, but in this one, we're going to be using the mouse to control our objects. Uh, there are two methods. On this uh, yellow ball, I'm going to be getting the object to constantly go wherever my mouse is. So it's basically, it's basically going to be attached to my mouse. In the arrow here, it's basically going to be following my mouse around. Uh, but always slightly behind. Okay, so let's take a look at this game in action. And then I'll explain the code. Okay, so here we go. You can see the ball is attached to my mouse, and the arrow is just always pointing towards and moving at a constant pace towards uh, wherever my, my mouse is. So it'll always go onto my mouse if I stop, and then it kind of goes a bit strange, but it always points towards it. So there's two sort of things going on there. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So the ball here, I've just said, when the green flag is pre uh, pressed, forever go to my mouse pointer. So that's what makes it attached to my mouse pointer. On the arrow code, whenever the green flag is clicked, forever point towards my mouse pointer and then move three steps. I could have changed this to the name of the uh, sprite instead and it would have had exactly the same result because the ball is attached to the mouse. OK, um, but it's quite good because you can have like objects chasing each other if you use something like the glide script, uh, which I'll show you in another video later on. Um, you can get an object. In fact, let's just put that in right now. Let's uh, create a new object and we'll get this. Uh, let's do a bat. We're going to get this bat to um, glide around. So we'll say when the green flag is clicked forever. And we're going to glide for two seconds to a particular place. Now, because this is a game, we want it to kind of glide around a little bit in random places. So we'll use the date, and uh, not the data one, which one is it? It is under um, operators. Pick a round number between, say, 1 and 100. And we'll do the same thing for the Y, 1 and 100. Okay, so now the bat is going to be gliding around in random directions for two seconds. And you can just sort of see it's moving about kind of slowly. Sometimes it doesn't pick a very large distance. Sometimes it does, so that's why it take, goes a little bit faster. Um, if I change that to 0.5 seconds, you'll see it moving around a lot faster. There we go. Now I can change this arrow code. To always point towards wherever the bat is um, and you can see it, that arrow will follow that bat around um, once it's on it if the bat doesn't move very far it's not going to do much so let's change that to about 200 so we've got a bigger range now for that bat to move there you go so you can see that arrow if that bat moves a bit further away there you go you can see the arrow just constantly trying to follow that bat so that's another way of doing it. Um, in fact, let's slow down this arrow so you can really see it going well. There you go. Okay, so actually I've just shown you three ways to move objects around in this video.